NX Cloud's distributed caching feature helps you spend more time solving problems and less time waiting for your CI. It can drastically reduce your build, test, and lint times. Here's how to set it up. First, you'll need to go to nx.app. Once you've logged in, you can go to Workspaces and create a new workspace for yourself. Go into Details to create your access tokens. There are two different types of access tokens, a read-only, which is typically used for your development environment, and a read and write access token, which is typically used in your CI environment. Now, if you have a closed source project and you trust everyone in your organization, you could give everyone a read and write token. But I'll set up the more locked down scenario in this video. So we'll call the read only one the developer token. You need to copy this key because this is the only time it will be displayed. And we'll take that developer token and in your NX workspace in the nx.json file, we'll add a new property called tasks runner options. We'll set the runner to narwhal nx cloud. And here for access token, we need to paste in that access token from nx.app. Cacheable operations is where you tell nx which builder commands you want to be cached. You also need to install the narwhal nx cloud package from npm. We'll check this into Git and push the changes. Now we also need to make a read and write access token for CI. So we'll set that to read and write and we call it the CI token. Copy this access token here. Now you need to go into your CI setup for your project. In this case, I'm using Circle CI, but you can use whatever CI system you prefer. Go into the environment variables and add a variable with the name NX Cloud Auth Token, and you'll paste in your access token here. With these two access tokens in place, just continue to use NX the way you normally would. If we run NX Build React App, the first time it builds, it takes 14 seconds to run. But if we run it again, it loads from your local cache and takes less than a second. The same thing applies to testing or linting or running the affected command. Another benefit of this setup is that when somebody else downloads your PR or downloads the repository for the first time, all of their builds and tests have also been cached. And we'll clone a fresh copy of this repo. And after installing dependencies, we can run nx build react app and it loads almost instantly. The distributed cache is particularly helpful for your CI system. Frequently, a PR is modified several times before it's merged in. The cache will be used to skip executing test or lint steps for portions of your PR that are untouched by subsequent commits. After you've used the distributed cache for a while, you can come back to view your workspace on nx.app and see how much time you've saved by using the cache. Now you can use that extra time to go make something amazing.